All right, so in this video, what we're gonna be looking at is actually how to install or how to use widgets, right? So in this just very general overview of what we're gonna be looking at specifically is first, what off what are widgets how can we use them um, and secondly actually how do we use it let me show you an example of how actually how to install widgets on our example website right and so just to get right into it what exactly are widgets and widgets put very simply they're what we can use to customize our website they're just an added um, addition to how we can actually customize our website whether it be in sidebars whether it be adding new features things like that um, it provides unique features or display to our actual website and generally, the most typical example of when widgets are used, although they can be much uh, used much more often or in much different cases than this, is often in sidebars and also in your footers, right? So I'm going to show you exactly just the basics of how can we add widgets in your sidebars and also how to add widgets in your footer, and that can kind of give you an idea of you know how exactly can you use widgets. All right, so just to get right into it, how are we actually going to use widgets, how are we going to uh, give an example of it. Um, so if we remember correctly, this is what our example website looks like. So something very simple, you know, not much besides just a post and also a sample page. If we look at the bottom, this is what our actual footer is. We see that there really is nothing to it. Um, and also our sidebar right here, right? And if we look at the demo website, this is what the actual demo website, the genesis or what our theme is, the demo, we see that uh, there are several widget areas, right? This is actually a widget up here this menu item I'm not going to show you that yet I'm going to show you that in a little bit uh, this is also a widget area which is your sidebar widget area where you can add additional widgets you have social icons you have recent posts um, and the other widgetized area I guess you could call it uh, is the footer area right here so you can well, I'll show you actually how to add this right here uh, we're going to start off just by simply adding um, you know sidebar widgets and we'll see exactly what it is right here uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to log back into the back end of our website and remember that's at our domain name.com slash wp admin i'm assuming that you already have up to this point you know have all the posts and the pages and kind of your theme installed already if not you can just go back to the um, previous videos but in order to actually install widgets or see how they those look like what we're going to do is, is this in the back end of wordpress we're just going to go into appearance and we're going to go into widgets and we'll see exactly what widgets can be used for and how, how they look as well right and so remember how I said that we wanted to add uh, to our sidebar we'll start with that first so the first thing is going to be just our primary sidebar um, and let's say we want to add a recent post and all with, although I think we have only two posts um, what we're going to do is simply just drag and drop um, that widget area so th that's what these are these are little widgets or little box areas that have been uh, pre-sanctioned to have these certain functionality as you can see there's different things and you can read what each of these mean for example you want RSS uh, entries from any RSS uh, or specifically your RSS feed uh, recent comments login area things like that for us we're just gonna start simple start with the recent post um, and I'm gonna make sure to title it uh, say how many posts I want to show this is the five posts to show but we only actually have two so that's probably how much we're gonna see and just click Save so when we go back to our website, what we're gonna do is we're gonna refresh it. And we'll see right there. Yeah, we see the recent posts and we have our 10 tips for scoring a great deal on cruises and our hello original hello world post, right? So that's exactly how sidebar widgets or how any widgets, how you add them. So the next thing that I want to show you is actually uh, we see on our demo website, right? We could add additional widgets. Um, in the sidebar as many as you want really uh, I would try to keep it kind of just to the most important ones kind of what you expect your users to be able to read or, or want to read um, and so recent post perfect thing to, to add in in the beginning uh, let me just show you how to add these different types of widgets down here right we'll see this is our footer you'll see the recent posts that's exactly the same so you know not much to that but for example let's say we want this text widget this is like for example, if you want to put an about us page or something like that, or about us little portion in your footer. So we're just going to go on the back end. And if you can imagine, it was broken up into three blocks, footer one, footer two, footer three. And this is highly uh, dependent on what your theme actually is. Since we're all learning off of the Genesis theme, it'll, it'll be the same. So what we're going to do is we're just going to add a text widget. And a text widget is you can literally add any text, whether that be HTML or just basic content. Um, and remember, I copied something over, so this would be, let's just say, an about me, right? So we pasted in whatever text you want to talk about yourself, and we're just going to click save, right? And then we're going to go back to the demo website, and we're going to see that 
the footer to the, the second third of the footer is your recent post. So let's just do that as well. Let's try to keep it consistent um, just for uh, simplicity's sake. And we'll just call that recent post. We'll save that. Um, and what I'm doing here is I'm just clicking this little triangle to just minimize things, just to keep things uh, a little bit uh, not as crowded for myself, but you can keep them open. Uh, the third one, if I recall correctly, there's a search and a tags. Uh, and we do have a couple tags. I don't think we have too many tags. Uh, so we'll see how exactly um, to add those tags. Uh, it's going to be this tag cloud right here, a cloud of your most used tags. Um, and yeah, we could just call them tags and then just save it. And then we want to add a search bar right below that, right? That's what the demo says. And we'll just title that search, right? And when we save all that, make sure that you have actually click save on each one. Otherwise, it actually won't show up. Uh, we're going to refresh our actual website, right? If we scroll down, we'll see that we have an about me page. Um, and this is just an example text. We have a recent post with our two most recent posts. And we have our tags. We have these three tags that we have tagged our post with. And we have a search, right? So everything that we wanted to add is all right there, right? Still looks kind of basic. Uh, especially because there's no menu items that's actually going to be on our next lesson but one thing that I do want to show is because a lot of people do want to know well how do you monetize a blog if you ultimately want to make a blog ultimately you'll want to add for example maybe an advertisement or something like that right so if we want to add an advertisement right for example say we signed up with Google AdSense that's probably the most common uh, how do we actually add that in it's actually very simple so we're just going to drag over into our sidebar say I wanted it to be right in that top right corner all I'm going to do is add a text widget right and I'm just going to get my Google AdSense code I actually pasted it over here in just a normal text editor and we're just going to save it and let me just make sure I remove that extra space in the title and you could say, if you want to, you can say our sponsors or whatever it is. You can leave it blank without a title as well. Um, and that's probably actually better, but we'll see what it looks like. right? So our sponsors and it has a simple ad, right? So it's exactly right where we want it. Um, now, for example, let's say we wanted to have a social sharing. For example, in the, in the demo website, we have these social icons. And these are cool. Uh, but this actually involves adding an additional plugin to get this functionality. Uh, so I'm not going to show you how to do that in this lesson because the next lesson is about actually how to use plugins, how to install them, things like that. So I'll say that for the next lesson. But let's say, for example, um, this is actually our main website, wpforall.com. Say we wanted to add this kind of this follow us with these little social icons, right? And so this is a little tricky, but what I ultimately did is I uploaded these. Like I showed you before, these are just pictures, right? These pictures, I can give you the actual um, picture files to, to, to upload. Uh, they're actually free, readily available online. Uh, all you have to do is upload these, right? And so it's basic HTML. I don't want to show you the specifics of it, right? Just simply because that's not what this video is for. I just want to show you how you can maybe utilize um, your sidebars or widgets specifically. Um, and there's just a, some HTML code that is right here. Um, and that's just kind of displaying the pictures. Literally, it's just displaying the pictures. And we'll just have a, another uh, title. Uh, and we're going to save it. And when we refresh it, we'll see that you have our sponsors. And we also have our followers, right? So underneath them, they're all just basic pictures. And so when they click on it, it'll actually go to our Twitter page, for example, right? So we'll go to twitter.com slash WP for all TV, right? And that's exactly what we wanted to go to, right? So that's a perfect example of how widgets can be utilized. Uh, I'll go into more detail about actually maybe how to customize with additional plugins in the next lesson. But for now, we actually can see kind of how we can bring functionality and design to our website using these widgets, right? And like I mentioned before, some of these other areas, for example, this top right uh, is actually a widget. If we look right here, the header right, that's that's another widget, but I'm gonna save that for, for example, if you wanna add a menu item, um, that's what I'm gonna save it for. So I'm gonna save that for a few lessons down the line, right? But now you can see kind of what sidebars are and actually what widgets are and how we can utilize them. So in the next lesson, we're going to actually be looking at plugins, how to install plugins, um, and some of the more popular plugins that I, I believe that every website should have.